Hello USA Water Polo family. This is Olympian Janai Kerr with another uh, workout program for you to do at home as that is where everybody is these days. Um, really important that you do whatever you feel comfortable with. Okay? Don't go and do something here that's gonna go and injure yourself just because you're trying to do too much. Know your limitations, but just try to increase them gradually. Okay, This is a good opportunity to kind of test yourself and kind of track where you are and work on those small gains every single day or if you're doing things twice a day, every single session. So starting off with limited range of motion, good posture, good body balance, kind of test where you are with your range of motion. Keeping my elbows together, you'll see that I start to shake at this point. Once I feel like I'm locking out, try to go up a little bit higher. Once it relaxes, <laughs> can't really tell them on my face, but it, my muscles are starting to relax a little bit. Challenge myself and go up a little bit higher. So from that position of being fully extended, exhale, pinch your shoulder blades back. And for here, you can kind of vary what you're gonna do. Field player is obviously gonna be shot blocking one hand, muscle memory locking out, keeping your arms strong, goalies coming together in a, in a V. Okay. Again, muscle memory, just working together, pinch your shoulder blades on the way back. From here to here, to here. After you get warmed up, you can kind of work on your speed, technique, locking out, how quickly you can get up, come back to your base position. You can imagine being with your hands in the water, back to here, back to here, but you're not gonna go backwards. You're never gonna be falling forward or anything else. Um, really kind of incorporate that into a full body workout. Again, keeping my feet wide as I squat all the way down, try not to lean forward, keep my upper body straight, elbows into my knees, Open up my groin a little bit more, hand on the ground. Field players, imagine you're going not for a good pass, but for a bad pass. Goalies exaggerate even more. Extend this pinky all the way across to get that last little fingertip lob. And once you feel that stretch, replace place your arm on the ground and go to the other side. Now where it feels comfortable, but increase your range of motion a little bit more. Already, just from the one exercise, I can see I'm tighter on my left side than I am on my right side. So it's really important you stay balanced. I might do this a couple more times, just so I open up, so my body becomes a little more balanced. Okay, from here, raising your hips, so you're gonna get stretching your hamstrings, and slowly rolling up. Rather than just stopping here, forgetting about your opposite side of the body, pushing your hips forward, stretching out your quads, and do a reverse stretch coming back, back behind you. Okay. Repeat that sequence several times, maybe anywhere between five to 10 times. So a good example of being balanced is a nice little jump. And wherever you land with your feet wide, kind of gives you a good indication of where you're gonna be with your feet planted, okay? Squatting down not just to 90 degrees, but sinking your hips lower than that. Chest is still up, hands are in a blocking position. Imaginary blocks, imaginary blocks. Okay, right, center, left, that's a sequence of one, doing a sets of 10 of those. Perfect. The next thing you can do to kind of add to it is exaggerate how wide your base position is. Pull your hips back, so you're not focusing on bending your knees in, so really make sure you pull your hips back. You won't get as low, but you're gonna feel more stretch opening up through your groin. So again, from the side profile, my knees are not going forward. My hips are just going back, down, chest is still up. Realistic imaginary blocking position. Extend, block, extend. Pushing imaginary water with my off hand every time. The extreme of this now, is lateral movement sinking down so my hips get lower than my knees, square my shoulders to imaginary shooter, face position, block. Shift over, rotate, face position and block. Shift over, rotate, face position, block. It feels as if I'm pulling water, rotating, slowly square my shoulders and blocking, okay? To exaggerate even more is rather than doing a typical lunge, it's going to be in line. Okay, this is a typical lunge in line. 
is to exaggerate it and step out to the side. So rather than going forward, I'm gonna rotate my hip as if I was eight bearing, coming maybe to step out at an angle to take away a shot from two meters or it's set. Don't let your weight go over your knees, squatting down, shoulders balanced, imaginary block, recover. Opening up, maybe now there's a cross pass going from the four or five side all the way over to the one, two side. Exaggerate how much you open up, rotate, imaginary block, balance together. When I recover, my left leg is still facing the same direction I started. Obviously you want to be balanced and do it the same on the opposite side. Right foot, facing forward the entire time, open up my hips, lunge out to the side, rotate, imaginary block. All the way back, dropping back, maybe this time I go for imaginary lob and recovering back each time. So you're connecting your core, your legs, and your upper body with muscle memory and technique at the same time. So another great muscle memory exercise that's gonna work your plank, your core, but also the shoulders on going into your biceps and forearms. Arms out straight and just hover off the ground. Hold this for five to 10 seconds before you relax and then come right back up. Okay. What this allows you to do is build up that strength and stability at an angle where you're gonna come forward to block and control the ball without swinging, without coming too far forward, just stabilizing as like far extended as you can. You need to start off a little Mommy. bit more narrow and then get stronger, you can do so. Great exercise for your hip flexors and your glutes is to work a beater motion where you're coming up, raise your ankle high, as high as possible, pushing down and around. Up, out, and around. Up, out, and around. Up, out, and around. So you're not just pushing down towards your heel, so you're actually trying to move imaginary water inside your thigh. So when I'm kicking down, I'm not kicking here, I'm rotating my foot up. So resistance would be on the inside of my thigh, the thickest part of my leg, so I make that egg beater, egg beater motion in. Uh, another little good exercise is do the breaststroke kick as you're stabilizing your core and as you feel more comfortable doing this motion you can go without using your hands lowering your shoulders coming back up I feel a snap a little snap crackle pop in my hips as I do this um, next thing is just going Lateral touches, shoulders and legs off the ground, slide and touch one knee and the other knee. So small little movements through your obliques and you'll feel it within the first 30 seconds. Try to push through for 45 seconds to a minute for each repetition. So going back to pump fakes, whether you have a smartphone with a camera or anything else, film yourself so you make sure it looks realistic. Not just starting off with uh, what you think is good, but really exaggerate it. Increase your range of motion. Widen your stance. So as you come for your bump fake, you're not just moving your arm, you're actually using your entire body. My leg is coming up and I rotate my hip. Up and rotate my hip. So if you look at my right hip here, okay, as it rotates, it's coming to here. My arm is still behind. So if I do it full motion, I can't do anything without making a big movement forward. Pulling imaginary water with your left arm, not just pushing down, use your legs to give you that height in the water and get in the habit of pulling water with your off hand. So this next exercise forces you to use your entire body and stop relying on your arm as much when you pass and shoot. Uh, if you have a piece of PVC, PVC pipe at home, it's ideal, but you can honestly use a broomstick, Swiffer, any type of pole. So for now, I'll demonstrate the PVC pipe. If you're right-handed, put the pipe between your thumb and middle finger, uh, index finger, and then again, same thing behind your back. So what obviously I can't do is move too far forward with just my arm. It's forcing me to come here and rotate my entire body. So now I'm putting my hand on my hip and using this point as the new pivot point. So rather than pivoting from my shoulder, I'm pivoting from my hip. So a big rotate and pivot. On the side, you'll see it here. A big rotate and pivot. A big rotate and pivot. 
No, you what? What did you find? You were doing a really good job of being quiet during Daddy's videos, and now you 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 interrupted one of the videos saying, "Help, help!" Because you got trapped in that box.